y'all, Dixie here. Today I want to talk to you about gear organization, something that I've been needing to do for about eight years now. I'm going to take you through and show you how I've organized my gear, but before I do that, I want to tell you why I finally did it and why I think you should too. So my gear situation has always been a hot mess, to be completely honest. Ever since I got back from through hike and the AT back in 2015, and it has just continued to get worse throughout the years as I've tested out new gear. Before I moved into this house with my husband, my house had a spare room that I just kind of dumped all of my storage stuff in, you know, the junk room. I had my microgreens in that room, my backpacking gear, and it was just kind of heaped into a pile. And then once I moved into here, I brought some of my gear with me. So then I ended up with things kind of being in a hot mess pile here and there. But regardless of where home base was, packing up my gear for a backpacking trip was something that brought about a lot of anxiety and stress in me. And it's something that you're supposed to be excited about, going out for a trip to see new things. But as it got closer, knowing that I had to start digging through piles of gear would just cause me a lot of stress. And then I would procrastinate and end up doing stuff last minute, like literally the night before a trip, and it would usually end up with a late night run to Walmart or Academy because I had forgotten something that I had run out of, like fuel or maybe I couldn't find my Sawyer Squeeze water filter. And then to start my backpacking trip the first day, whether it was traveling through the airport or actually hitting the trail, I would just be exhausted and it doesn't start the trip off on a good foot. Also, when you're in a panic, you can easily forget things when you're packing. Now, I typically pull up my lighter pack list, so that does help me go through and make sure I'm remembering everything. But even then, it's easy to forget something when it's all jumbled up in a pile. I forgot my spoon, for example, when I was doing the Foothills Trail. Also, when I through hiked the CDT, I thought I had forgotten my fish oil pills and my tent stakes, but come to find out they were actually in my pack and I found them later, but that was probably due to just packing frantically and in general that lack of organization. Something interesting to note, I once did a Walmart backpacking journey where I went out on a backpacking trip several hours away from home and I collected all of the gear that I needed along the way at different Walmart locations. So you would think that leaving home and going several hours away would be anxiety inducing and, and a stressful experience in trying to find all of that gear to go backpacking with. But while yes, those things might've been true, it was actually still a lot better to me than having to dig through my own backpacking gear and try to piece together everything in the last minute type rush at least Walmart was a bit more organized than I was. So one of the big motivating factors, obviously, in me making this change is to not have so much stress when I go to pack and prepare for a backpacking trip. But also, being more organized is a better way to protect your gear and have longevity for your gear. Making sure that you're not piling things up on one another and then you end up stepping on a trekking pole and it breaks or something has so much weight on it that it ends up bent or damaged. It helps you take care of your things better and make sure that your investment into this gear is not going to be wasted. So you might be wondering, well, why not just leave all of your gear packed up in your pack ready to go out on a trip? That way, you know, it's in one spot, especially if you're not like me and you don't have multiple things in each category. Well, while that idea might sound like it would be good, there are some things that don't need to be compressed for long-term storage, like puffy coats and sleeping bags. You might have some things that really need washed before your next trip, like your sleeping pad or back flush in your water filter, or maybe even your tent had a lot of condensation or mud on it, so you need to make sure it gets good and aired out or maybe even washed down. And it never hurts for that stuff to kind of air out during long-term storage anyway, because us hackers can get a little funky. And two, you might think that you have everything that you need in your pack if you tend to keep things stored there, but if you make that assumption, 
and then you get out on trail and realize you actually ran out of something on the last trip or you took something out your headlamp to go grill in the backyard and you left it out and now you don't have it so having your pack completely emptied and then having to piece together each thing will help assure that it's all accounted for when you go on a trip. So when I decided to tackle this project, I went to my old house and got all of my backpacking gear there. My aunt lives there now, so my junk room, all my stuff's intermingled with hers, but I was able to grab it out of there, come here, and then I pulled everything out of this closet and I started going through all of that gear and putting it into four different piles. One, keep. Two, sell three donate and four trash my donation pile ended up having little subcategories boy scouts thrift store and food bank for the food bank the reason some of the stuff had to go there is it wasn't going to last long enough to be good for my next backpacking trip specifically some packets of tuna there were some other things too and so i felt like they would go to better use hopefully at the food bank than to sit here and just rot and end up being thrown away. That stuff was left over from when I was planning to go on my Arizona trail through hike and that ended up not working out. And as for the organization of the actual keep pile, that's going to depend on your personal preference and the space that you have. But regardless, it makes sense to me to organize things by category. So as I was sorting through everything, my keep pile was actually like a keep area. So just those different categories, like how I would list it in ladder pack, that's how I decided to store it together. So once I got everything kind of in some groupings, I tried to estimate how many storage bins I might need and I made a Walmart run. While I was there, I got various sizes of storage bins, some large hangers that I knew I wanted to use for my tents and my packs, and I even opted for the cube storage thingies. And I also picked up some little hook hangers so that I could put various gear on those. But I did absolutely nail exactly the amount of storage bins I needed, and that was really by happenstance. So it's a good idea for when you go on one of these runs to hold onto your receipt in case you need to return anything or exchange anything. Little by little, I started putting things where I thought they should go. That did switch up a few times, and I kind of rearranged things, but as you start filling in the holes, then you'll figure out what's gonna work best for your space. The only thing that I really feel like I I'd like to add now that I don't have is a little whiteboard that I can write on out of fuel, you know, or a certain list of things that I need to pick up for my next trip or that I need to, to do, repair, whatever, before my next trip. Right now I just have a piece of paper taped to the back of the door, but that's better than nothing. <laughs> and probably after I get done recording this video, I'll order a little whiteboard on Amazon. And while I do have my ladder pack list on my phone that I could pull up, sometimes it's nice to have that actual list that's physical that you can look at while you're packing everything up. It would be nice to have even, I'm just thinking on the fly right now, a list printed out and laminated so that you could mark off each thing as you pack it. So anyway, without further delay, let's run through my current setup. So first things first, here to the left in these boxes and bins and then hanging right there on the hangers is homemade Wanderlust merch, which also had to go in this closet because it has to live somewhere. So ignore that and then also the stickers and cash box up there. We've got food prep stuff. So the big orange thing there in the middle is my dehydrator. To the right is a vacuum sealer. And then in that white bin, I've got Ziploc bags, Mylar bags for meals that I make here at home. And then my Reflectix, if I need to make a pot cozy there in the back. Next is food, got all sorts of meals and snacks in there. And then up above was actually some meals that I was gonna send to myself for eating in town on the Arizona Trail, so those will still be good for a while. That bin right there in the corner is shelters uh, that I have not hung up yet. Not sure if I will. I've heard it's better to hang them up than to keep them compressed, but anyway. Uh, above is just like a car camping tent that would not fit in a bin. <laughs> Straight ahead here on the top bin is stuff sacks. I've got quite a few Dyneema ones and then also some nylon ones. Below that is tripods and any sort of camera 
mount type stuff. Then to the right on the top there is my pack liners. I've got some Nyla Fume and also uh, the older type that I would get from Gossamer Gear. The next bin down has my CPAP <laughs> and the one below that has any sort of rain gear like temporary ponchos or extra rain gear that I have not yet opened. Now I want to get to all of the stuff that's hanging up here. So first we've got Miss Fancy May's backpacking gear and I actually have all of her stuff in here like her food thing and her little water dish. Yes, that's a super fancy KFC um, mashed potato bowl thing. But I have all of her gear gathered together just because I don't want to have to go through hers if I'm going on a trip that she's not going on. So it's all together except of course for her sleeping bag and stuff, which I mentioned doesn't need to stay in your pack. And she doesn't carry her own anyway, let's be honest. So here I've got all of my packs hanging up on those extra large hangers that I was talking about. I really like those a lot. Originally, I was gonna put these on carabiners or some kind of other hanging hooks that I got at Walmart, but I just really liked the way that they hung well on these hangers, so would recommend that. We've got different shelters, tents, and uh, I put the stuff sacks for those on the hangers, so I'm not frantically searching for those. To pack it up in my tent later on. Then moving along to the sleeping pad type area. These are sleeping bag liners for extra warmth. They were used on Kilimanjaro. Could probably put those on a hanger, but anyway, they're still in their stuff sacks right now, hung with carabiners. Now I've got different sleeping pads here. Again, stuff sacks hung on the hangers. This is old trusty. I don't even put it in a stuff sack, so it doesn't have one there, but us uh, then we've got puffy coats here of course uh synthetic because i'm allergic to down and this is miss fancy may's coat so i guess some of her stuff is scattered out like i mentioned and then this is rain gear rain pants and rain jackets and down on the floor here hiding in the shadows is a couple of different things that really fancy uses so the one on the right is her little turtle shell puffy jacket. And then the one on the left is really an underquilt for the hammock that I've used, but she's used that as her overquilt while we're backpacking. And I should probably look at getting her something synthetic since I'm allergic to down, but right now this is what we have. And these are best stored in loose sacks like this. And over here is sleeping bags that are allowed to fully loft. Now these are synthetic, but still you don't want them compressed and another one back there. So it's just chill right there in the corner. And then to my hanging hooks here, I've got multiple hats, some more for backpacking than others, but sun protection either way. And then a lightweight sunglasses holder thing that I'm gonna carry on backpacking trips because I feel like this will still protect them, but will be more lightweight than what I've been using. And on this hanging hook over here, I've got Microspikes, crampons that are meant for um, trail runners or more flexible footwear, a gas mask that I used in Iceland when I was at the volcano, that was recommended, and then a belly band for concealed carrying, and then my ice axe. Down on the floor here next to my organization cubes, I've got all of my trekking poles, umbrellas, inside of my bear canister. I figured that was a good use for it instead of sitting up there holding nothing because I don't use it a whole, whole lot. Only one required. Then down here in the next little bin, I've got all of these accessories for the trekking poles, like the snow basket things. Um, and really this is an example of something that got ordered multiple times because of my lack of organization. These little tips for the trekking poles. I mainly use these when I fly, but even on the Camino, something like this, when you're gonna be raking across asphalt or um, sidewalks, or even if you're somewhere where there's gonna be just consistent rock, this would be good. But I don't need this many of them. And the reason that I have that, and this kind of seems like a waste of space, is because of my previous lack of organization. But I have them, so why not? I don't like using these. I probably never will, but if I'm going somewhere where it's just like, yes, you do want them, then I have 
two mosquito head nets. Got my mosquito spray that I also don't really use very often. If I do, I normally go with something more natural. Don't have any more of that, so I need to add that to my list. And then sunscreen back here. Obviously, on the left basket, we've got tent stakes. And I've got the little tent stake stuff sacks in there. Then on the right here, I've got any sort of repair stuff like zipper lubricant, tent patches, sleeping pad patches, seam sealer stuff, you know, any of that type of maintenance supplies, if you will. And here is duct tape, because I always take a little bit of that with me for in fueled repairs. Some toiletry stuff, toothbrushes and floss. Floss doubles as tent or gear repair if you have a needle. Um, plus, you know, oral care. <laughs> Some toiletry stuff and ladders. And then on this rat cube here, toiletries and first aid type stuff. So some medications back here. This is camp towels, also sham wow, and buffs and handkerchiefs. It makes sense to me. <laughs> then in here is like all of extra warmth type stuff. This is actually a portable heating pad, which I probably won't take backpack in, but if I need it for other outdoor adventures, and then hot hands, emergency blankets, and gloves and beanies. So any extra warmth type stuff. This cube is obviously any sort of electronics that's not camera gear. Down here is my food bin. So my food pot, my food bag, cups, spoons, stove, and yeah. And this is the water bin. So any water bladders, Nalgene's, tubes, back flushers. I do need a new Sawyer squeeze. All right, y'all. So that is my rundown of the way that I've got things currently set up. And just for fun, after I got done running through how I have organized everything, I did a trial run of actually packing my pack and I'm feeling much better. <laughs> about how things are now than how they were in the past. So hopefully for my next trip, I won't feel so stressed out about it and um, procrastinate as long because now everything is easily findable. Sure, there may be some tweaks that I make between now and over the years, but this is a really good starting point. I just wanna reiterate that this is just one way to do this. There are different ways that you might prefer to organize your gear. And if you want some other ideas before you take on a task like this, then if you're a member of the Homemade Wanderlust Backpacking Forum group on Facebook, there are different threads where people have talked about gear storage, myself included, and other folks have commented their pictures of how they've arranged their different spaces with their backpacking gear. So if you need some inspiration, then you might wanna check that out. Anyway, I would love to hear any ideas that y'all have in the comments below if you have already organize your gear and you feel like you've got a pretty good system because I'm always looking to learn. Thank y'all so much for watching and we will see y'all next time.